Yeah, she's like, oh, not again. No, this is a new one, so it doesn't know what's going on. Carefully reach in here. I got her. Okay. There we go. Got the bag open. Okay, this is a new eastern Massasauga rattlesnake. It's going to be pit tagged and released here shortly. Put her in the pillowcase for safekeeping. Good job. My name's Ryan Miller. I'm an assistant zoologist for the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy. I've been working with the eastern Massasauga rattlesnake in Western Pennsylvania since 2005. <laughs> Uh, right here at our feet, I have an eastern Massasauga rattlesnake, scientific name Cistruus cantonatus cantonatus. It lives in Pennsylvania. It's an endangered species in Pennsylvania. Currently, we know that it lives in only four places in the state. Um, this is my kit as of right now. Um, the stuff we have, we have a uh, pit tag reader. Um, it reads the microchips that we have inserted in the snakes for identification and research purposes. And the pit tag that goes along with it is inside this syringe. It's a microchip about the size of a grain of rice. And as you will see, it's intro in introduced underneath the skin. Um, and it's pretty much harmless on the snake. Um, we have years and years of data and people doing research around the country and around the world using these pit tags on snakes. And it, it's been shown to be harmless to the snake. Okay, as you can see, the snake's curled up inside the bag. Okay, it's just wondering what's going on right now. Typically what we'll do, keeping our hands away from the snake. If you, there you go, perfect. We'll carefully lower the bag a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. We'll stick its head in there very carefully. And reach down and it'll crawl right in and slide the tube up in. And slowly manipulate the snake up into the tube. And there it's safe to handle. And you said this one is gravid? This is a gravid female. Can you um, explain to everybody what that means? Uh, it's, it has embryos growing inside of her. Essentially, it's pregnant. Um, I, no telling how many are in here without a radiograph. But um, inside of the belly here, she's got a pretty good belly. The scales and skin are, are stretched here on her side. So she's got a pretty good load inside of her. And she, um, she'll be giving birth in mid-September, most likely. I don't know. We're going to go on and move on with the pit tagging. Uh, first things first, we're going to wipe down the area with uh, some alcohol. There you go, there she's rattling. She's getting warm by actually sitting in my hand. You can see that rattle, she's just vibrating her tail. And it's rattling those segments, rattle segments back and forth. Okay, we want to go one third of the body length down on the side. Um, to where we won't interfere with the embryos inside of her body. Clean the area. A little bit up more. Up on the back. Okay. And we're going to insert a passive integrated transponder. It's called a pit tag for short. Um, people now are doing these on their dogs and cats at home. It's a little microchip about the size of a grain of rice. It's used for identificational purposes um, so that if I ever catch this snake again, um, I'll be able to know exactly which number it is and where it came from and where, um, where I caught it. You can scan the, tip of the, um, scan the tip of the syringe and uh, it'll show that it'll read it. And there it comes up with its own identification number, and that will be inserted in the snake. And we'll have that on our files, and the state, the state of Pennsylvania will have that in their files. Okay, we have the clean area. We're going to insert the pit tag right about there, about halfway up its body, right underneath the skin, very carefully. Okay, go ahead. Slide it up in. There you go, it's in. Pop it in. There you go. You got it? She barely even flinched. Wow, that's So therefore, 
I don't want to lose the sight um, where we just inserted it. We're going to insert a little bit of vet bond, which is essentially super glue to seal the wound. It's not much of a wound. She hardly ever even flinched when it went down. She didn't even uh, right there. Yep, out. exactly. She didn't musk. She didn't really rattle. Keep going a little bit more. Good, good, good. And we're going to kind of blow on it to make sure it dries. Okay, I believe we have all the lengths, weights, and measurements on this snake. Now all we need to do is take a picture of the dorsal pattern, um, take some photographs for also for identificational purposes and for records, and then we'll take her back and release her. Um, so at this time I'm probably going to just uh, empty her out into a bucket where we can get some good photographs and we don't have to worry about her crawling off or being dangerous. And uh, we can get some good dorsal view, dorsal photographs of her. But I'm going to be done handling her with the tube here right now. Go ahead, Ed. Watch your knuckles. Good. That's a good girl. Okay, we're back at the point of capture where we captured the rattlesnake. This is the snake. This is exactly where we caught it. We're not reintroducing or, or moving snakes around. We're just going to let her go back to her home um, after we put the pit tag in her and got some morphological data from her. Just going to take her over here and, and let her slide her way out and um, move off into a burrow where she'll stay the rest of the summer and give birth this fall. Come on out of there. There she is. <laughs> and she'll move off and find a burrow. She, she's not aggressive. She doesn't want to come after me. She just wants to move off and find herself a home. <laughs> 